Hello all, in this tutorial we will see how to calculate the base and the collector resistor in the NPN transistor configuration. So we have seen in the previous tutorial on how the current flows through a transistor in uh, NPN and PNP configuration and then uh, this uh, you see here is a simple switch configuration where there is a base resistor, there is a, a collector resistor and then you apply voltage to the base and uh, um, the collector. So <clears throat> see uh, a simple circuit here where uh, uh, you want to calculate the collector resistor. So here we can say the current flowing through this is called the IC. Mm. So let us assume this load requires around 1 milliamp of current. So now considering this configuration, how we can um, calculate the current is this node voltage is nothing but V power. Uh, so V power is nothing but 5 volts here as you can see the voltage source that is connected. Uh, so this V power should always be greater than or equal to VL plus RC into IC. So this is how uh, you calculate the VL. So V power we know is 5 volts must be greater than or equal to uh, VL. So let us assume uh, my VL needs around 4 volts which is the requirement uh, for this load to operate here. Uh, so now uh, we'll put it as 4 volts plus we have to calculate the RC for that uh, uh, 4 volts and then into uh, 1 milliamp. Okay. So now if you take 4 here, 1 must be greater than or equal to RC into 1M. That means if you take 1M here, it becomes... Uh, uh, 1 by 1m which is 1k, 1k should be greater than or equal, that means RC should be less than or equal to 1k here. So if you have RC less than or equal to uh, 1k, uh, then uh, your desired configuration of uh, uh, the requirement of 4 volts and the load of 1 milliamp will suffice. This is how you calculate the, um, the collector resistor. Now, let us see how to calculate the base resistor. So uh, to calculate the base resistor, uh, you apply a voltage of Vn is equal to 5 volts uh, to the base. Okay. And then this is base, this is emitter. So we know generally VBE shall be 0.7 volt, right? Or 0.6 volt based on your... Uh, in uh, NPN transistor data sheet. So similar to how we applied uh, the, the voltage here should always be greater than or e equal to uh, the voltage across this resistor and then VBE. Let us assume this current is nothing but IB. So V in should always be greater than or equal to IB into RB, right? IB into RB is nothing but the voltage drop across this resistor plus VBE. Okay. Now, uh, if you take VBE that side, V in is nothing but 5 volts. VB is nothing but 0 0.7 volt. Let us assume is greater than or equal to IB into RB. So now, IB depends on uh, the uh, uh, amount of uh, uh, current drawn by this we know this is IC, right? So <clears throat> we know the relation also IC is equal to beta into IB, right? Which where IC can also be calculated by using uh, uh, V power. This, this is, if you say this is IL, we can say uh, I, IC is equal to IL because uh, uh, this, this is a node here and uh, if the load should operate, this should be off. That means there is no current here. Uh, so IC is equal to IL. Uh, so if you uh, consider uh, um, the Kirchhoff's law, um, v, it, it comes as uh, um, IV power minus VL by RC plus IL. Okay. So 
in case because this is off we can approximately write this as uh, v power by rc plus il this is the value of ic so you know uh, I, ic is equal to beta ib so again coming back to this case ib is equal to ic by beta right so substitute this here so the 5 minus 4.7 is nothing but 4.3 4.3 is greater than or equal to uh, I, ic is calculated from here uh, so ic is equal to uh, v power we know it is uh, uh, 5 volts by rc uh, we already uh, calculated from the previous scenario plus il we know 1 milli ohm right because here let us assume we calculated it as 1k okay um, because uh, it should be greater than or uh, less than or equal to 1k let us assume the maximum scenario uh, so we substituted ic here um, and then let us assume beta is uh, uh, 40 or 50 okay or 100 you get it from the data sheet plus into rb right so you know all these values uh, so um, 4.3 that means uh, 4.3 into 50 by 1k if you take uh, 5m uh, 5m plus 1m is 6 meg 6 milli greater than or equal to rb that means if you solve this uh, uh, the rb shall be calculated so now one thing uh, which you can see here when we calculated the ic it was completely dependent on the load uh, and when we calculated the uh, when we wanted to calculate the base resistor it was depending on how much uh, the collector re uh, resistor was uh, collector current was required uh, so that is how we know ic is equal to beta ib which is the um, uh, ce configuration uh, uh, amplification factor is uh, beta uh, which defines the relation between ic and ib so the amount of uh, collector current depends on uh, uh, the amount of base current so that's why we had to use this relation to calculate the rb so now designers these days uh, uh, generally tend to um, follow the um, previous circuits or reuse the circuits and uh, they don't calculate rc and rb because uh, these these are most of the scenarios where you use for voltage uh, uh, conversion uh, or uh, uh, powering on an led um, so it is better you follow these uh, uh, calculations and calculate the rb and rc uh, in your uh, um, design uh, thanks for watching. Please comment if you have uh, any suggestions or improvements on this video. Thank you.